Hiya guys, in this episode we're facing King Hippo. He's from Hippo Island. That's all I can say. Jeez, that guy eats more than Kirby does. Now, let me just say, this is my least favorite boss in this game. Well, not really boss, but since the entire game is pretty much boss battles. Uh, this is my least favorite boxer, I guess, you face. Because he's just bland compared to the other ones. I mean, he doesn't really have a set caricature, while every other character in this game has, has one. For instance, we had uh, Glass Joe, who was from France, uh, Von Kaiser, who was from Paris, and Disco Kid from Brooklyn. But this guy, there's no sets of thing for him. Now let's see if I can time this. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's basically just supposed to represent uh, like someone from a remote island. Does that doesn't even exist? I guess that's why I don't like him too much. And as you can see, I knocked off his crown. Come at me, bro. Done. <coughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why. I always have a terrible cough. Oh well. Maybe I should go see a doctor. Oh no, Uncle Shill is dying! No, I'm kidding. Anyway. Who are we facing next? Uh, oh right, Piston Hondo. Uh, fun fact about Piston Hondo. Uh, he was originally called Piston Honda, but the developers changed his name to Piston Hondo because they thought Honda would sue them since... His name was Honda, and a piston is a part of a car. Lol, makes sense, right? <laughs> and as you can see, he's Japanese. Ron, it's Godzilla! Okay, I'm sorry about that. I do not mean to offend any Japanese people. I love Japan, I really do. Wow, I punched him while he was bowing. I feel like a jerk for doing that. One, oh, well. Okay, gotta time this. Yep, there we go. And I love how his, like, his, what's supposed to be like stars above his head are, are sushi. Ugh. Aww. Basically, you could have knocked him down right there if you had timed it right. Oh well. There we go. All oh, right, I know who's next. Oh god. Remember when I was saying there was a particular stereotype I didn't like in this game a lot? Uh that would be because they included a Canadian boxer in this game. And look at this. 
is this supposed to represent Canadians? I feel sorry for being Canadian, well, at least living in Canada. I'm an immigrant, in case you guys didn't know. But all will be explained when you see his intro movie. Okay, first off, I hate maple syrup. Not all of us are lumberjacks, and we do not fight bears. And his hair on his chest is a tree. And remember when I said the game starts to get a bit harder from a certain part? Well, as a kid, I thought this was where it started to get hard, in my opinion. And it's kind of ironic, because he, he's, it's Canadian that I get stuck on. Well, the Canadian stereotype. Oh, it's dope. But I got most of his patterns down pat, and I am an idiot. And he says timber when he gets knocked down. Really? I swear, if you Americans think this is what us Canadians are supposed to be, I swear I will freaking come to your houses and murder you in your sleep. Well, maybe not, but... I'd like to. With my wooden katana. Even though it's made of wood. Maybe I use my metal cane instead. Then again, it's not a blade. It's just a metal cane that I used to whack people with. Okay, I've never really whacked anyone with my metal cane, but... If I have to, I will do it, and I just punched him in the chest. No, I do not need a hug. Also, I must say I love his theme. Come at me, bro. Uh, I think I've beat everyone in round one so far. Uh, you know, I kind of like this streak of having three fights per video. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it for now, and I'll just end it off here. So, next time on Shill's Punch-Out, we will, if I can get past this loading screen, thank you, be facing Great Tiger. Really? I thought Bear Hugger was this bad. Yep, yeah, follow the glove, man. It'll be great. Punch, 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 punch. And yes, you can defeat him in only three punches. I forgot how to, though, so sue me.